what wig this is and from which brand it is. Take a close look and let me know your thoughts in the comments if you're able to guess the wig. Um, we're going to be talking about three different colors for this wig. I have on the more auburn shade and then we have two different blonde versions of this wig. So I'm very excited to get into it and let me reveal what wig this is. This is Bailey by Renee of Paris. If you guess which wig it is and if you didn't guess because it doesn't matter it's a beautiful beautiful wig it's like a short kind of shag it has a lot of layers to it it originally comes kind of like this outside of the box but my favorite way to wear it i just find it a lot more flattering for a lot of face shapes is to just tuck in those like more thick volume in the back and tuck them behind the ear leave those little front pieces out and then just kind of wear it like that i really like the look that it gives um, you can floof it you can flatten it you can really play with it with your fingers it just, you can customize it to be your own now this wig has really nice bangs at the front they're a little bit thicker over here and then thinner down to the face um, so yeah this is bailey by noriko and it is in the shade um, sorry, Irish Spice. And this is going to be a little bit more of like a dark auburn base. And then it has those dark honey blonde highlights throughout. You can kind of see it through here. So yeah, that is the wig. Very beautiful. It's a really easy wig to wear. If you're new to wigs, if you don't have too much time to think about it, if you know, you just want something easy, looks good, fits really well. This is your wig. It has a basic cap, so there's no monotop and then there's no lace front. So just very, very simple. Looks really, really good. Fits like a glove. I love it. This is an average cap. I'm more of an average large, but it fits me really well. You're able to tighten it and loosen it in the back. So if you're a little bit smaller, if your head's a little bit bigger, you can make it customizable. So that one is this shade in Irish Spice. Let's move on to our next shade in the wig. And let me show you the cap construction as well. So when we say basic cap, it basically means that we do not have a lace front or a mono top and it's not hand tied, partially hand tied or anything like that. So this is the cap. Again, you have this kind of stretchy part in the back, which is really, really good to make the wig fit perfectly. And then that is the crown of it. And then it is permatized at the top. As you can see here for just giving it a lot of volume so yeah that is this wig this one is in the color creamy toffee which is a light platinum blonde with light honey blonde highlights throughout so it's a honey blonde base it's a platinum blonde base and then it has honey blonde highlights throughout as you can see here okay and I wanted to point something out is that the there's a slight difference between each the same wig but from different manufacturers sometimes it's manufactured with a little bit of a five percent difference nothing more than that um, it's basically the same exact wig this one is just a little bit denser at the bottom than the one that i'm wearing but it's still the same exact style it pretty much looks identical but you know with manufacturers there's always that we always like to say that there's like a five percent you know wiggle room where things might turn out a little bit different but nothing major if you're used to the style that you're wearing nothing about it is going to change it's just always good to know it's always good to know you know sometimes even with makeup brushes for example sometimes when you buy the makeup your favorite makeup brush and you buy it again you might notice that it might have a little bit less hairs or a little bit more hairs but it still performs the same still works as great and it's still your favorite makeup brush so think about it the same way with these stunning wigs. I want to say this fiber feels really good too. It, it's not shiny at all. It feels really great. So this is Creamy Toffee and Bailey by Noriko with the basic cap. And now let's move on to our last blonde. I think this one is my favorite blonde between the two. I just really like how it's rooted at the top and I like the shade of it. It's more of like, I don't know how to describe it, but I just really like this shade more. I find it very flattering on a lot of skin tones. Here is the shade, and this is in the shade Nutmeg Rooted, where it's a rooted dark honey, and then it has strawberry blonde highlights throughout, as you can see here. Very beautiful. This one has a lot of dimension because the highlights are pretty obvious 
which I love. So yeah, you'll get a lot of dimension with this color. Same exact everything, same cap, and everything like that, just that basic cap with these beautiful front bangs. So yeah, very beautiful style. Definitely a lot of you guys have shown this style a lot of love over the years, and so have we. So that was our show today. I hope you guys like this style. Let us know if you will be buying this style. It's really beautiful. And 